Okay, so let's get going with the 26-week uh, internet marketing plan then. Um, so who's it kind of really aimed at? You know, who's, who's the people that you know, should be kind of bearing this information in mind? You know, kind of largely it's the marketing function within the business. It's, it's people who are marketing directors, people who are in charge of the strategy within their businesses. You know? You know, by all means, it's you know, kind of everyone within the marketing department you know, and perhaps web people who actually have... Um, some kind of element of marketing control within their department, you know, but, but it's largely the marketing function, it's largely businesses. Um, and, of course, kind of business owners and, and, and entrepreneurs as well. So um, hopefully it does provide you a really good strategic framework with actually what you want to achieve in terms of internet marketing. Um, the four different phases... Um, that are involved within the 26-week uh, internet marketing plan are phase one, website structure. Um, so going over things like um, on-site ser uh, search engine optimization. Phase two, going over automation and launch. What's essential before you actually really get going with an internet marketing campaign is to build as many viral and automated marketing methods into your website structure. So that means that it makes the internet marketing as easy as possible. So whenever you do a task, it's replicated, um, it's automated marketing that goes on. Phase three, broaden your base. And uh, phrase Phase four, rather, broaden your horizon. So what does that really involve? Well, in terms of website structure, what we'll do is we'll go over six um, weeks of tasks that you should be doing. You know, firstly, um, researching and targeting an appropriate market segment. Um, the internet really allows you to be extremely specific in terms of market segment. Uh, a lot of big corporations um, are struggling with small local competitors and not being able to actually um, deal with them because they're eating up you know, small parts of their own markets. So I'll, I'll show you how to actually be extremely niche in targeting individual market segments online, obviously structuring and optimizing your site, how to convert browsers to leads. You know, there's no point in getting hundreds, thousands of visitors to your website every day and not being able to convert them to actually give you business. So we'll go over how to actually get people to fill out forms, how to get people to leave their information, you know, how to target the right people, obviously, to, to, to visit your website to begin with, and maximizing your site's viral impact. Um, viral marketing of course, peer-to-peer uh, -peer marketing. That is, um, when someone visits your website, then they're hopefully more likely to actually recommend it to their friends. Um, going on to phase two, um, automation and launch. Now, again, there's seven key aspects to this area here. And with phase two, what we do is we start to build in a few processes that should actually be done every week as well. So I'll go over different processes from week 10 onwards that, that should actually be done as part of your internet marketing strategy every week. You know, some different phases can be done just as a one-off, and some should be replicated every, every week to actually give you the best possible benefit. Uh, so phase two, you know, why a blog so much more than an online diary? Uh, a, a lot of businesses, you know, think blog, that's not for me at all. You know, blog, online diary, informal stuff. Um, that's not the case, really. Uh, blogging is about technology. And a blog is an aspect um, within a good uh, piece of technology that can actually really give you... Um, superbly effective internet marketing. It's a piece of technology that can actually suddenly, whenever you actually make a post, um, which doesn't have to have comments on it, which can be in any format, you know, informal, formal, but that post is marketed to 50, 100 different places at the same time. So it's technology that really multiplies the effect of your online marketing. Um, why it's essential to collect names, email addresses, and how to do it. You need to build up um, an email list. Um, you need to build, build up a personal email list. You need to be able to control that um, as part of your marketing function online as well. And how to increase the success of online press releases and pay-per-click campaigns. That's start of the launch uh, process online as well. Um, online press releases can have a tremendous effect in driving initial traffic to your site. And if you've got the stickiness right from your site and can capture people, it's the best way to actually start things off with. 
Um, phase three moves on, um, it's called broaden your base. It moves on, again, um, seven key areas here as well, introducing a few other weekly functions that's, that's got to be introduced into your business. But what, what phase three involves is um, really link building, um, getting lots of other websites involved in, in building relevant, decent traffic to your website, kind of broadening the amount of traffic, broadening the location of the traffic. You know, uh, it's essential, obviously, that you don't just rely on, on one source of traffic online like Google. You know, a lot of businesses think, you know, fantastic, you know, we've got, you know, one keyword phrase at the top of Google, it's bringing us, you know, a thousand visitors a day, you know, don't have to worry about anything, you know. That's, it's a dangerous game in any business, obviously, just to rely on, on one source of customers or just, just have, you know, one big customer in business. So um, I'm going to show you lots of different ways to build a broad base of, of website traffic so you don't just rely on one source in the future. And moving on to phase four, um, broaden your horizon. Um, again, it introduces a couple of other things that's got to be done every week as well. But what, what broaden your horizons is about is actually introducing other, more new media methods of actually internet marketing. Um, that is initially uh, actually introducing new sites, um, such as um, one-page sites that actually really focus on a particular specific market segment um, and especially targeting visitors maybe interested in one particular product um, within your portfolio and how you can actually drive more niche specific traffic to your main website through those, the, these additional new websites. Um, harnessing the power of social networks and building online brand long longevity. Obviously you've got um, social networking sites like MySpace, Facebook, um, LinkedIn. Um, it, it's important to, to be aware of where your target market lies and interacts you know, informally as well as actually conducting business themselves and how, how best to target them uh, within those mediums. Um, then moving on to video marketing, audio marketing, podcasting. Um, there are lots of you know, new forms of internet marketing that, that really can't be overlooked. You don't have to have it's too much time focused on these um, forms of medium to actually test them. And it's important to do the testing and do the tracking of your visitors in all your internet marketing. And that's basically where we finish off, you know, how to actually analyze all the internet marketing that you've, you've, you've gone and introduced into your business and, and how to determine how to move on after that. Okay, so let's get going with the 26-week um, internet marketing plan. Phase one website structure. So this is really looking at business strategy, keyword research, site architecture, conversion rates, um, looking at what's called your viral coefficient, your percentage of people that are likely to actually tell their friends um, about your site or about certain services or PDF reports maybe that you have, and visitor tracking as well to actually get the tracking code within your website so you're um, seeing what your visitors do and where they come from. <coughs> 